Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially getting closer to that time. It is officially Nintendo Direct season. And in my opinion, this Nintendo Direct is one of the most important Directs of all time. So we have some predictions and some leaks to go over today. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So in my opinion, this Direct is one of the most important of all time because this is probably the last real Nintendo Direct for the Nintendo Switch. And that's actually a crazy thing to say. So we're gonna make some predictions and look at some leaks. And I have a pretty reliable source. I have tapped into the paranormal to get some help. Before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So since this is a real Nintendo Direct, one of the first things I think we're going to see is um, probably the last look at Luigi's Mansion. I'm very, very excited. I feel like more people are excited for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door remake, and that's cool. I just really like Luigi's Mansion. Uh, and the second one's the one I never got to play, so I'm very, very excited for this. I hope they don't spend too much time on it, but I do think we will see some Luigi's Mansion stuff. So Midori leaked out that Dragon Quest is going to be shown off at this next Nintendo Direct. And I think it's an HD remake of Dragon Quest 2 or a package of the first three or something like that. I am a huge Dragon Quest fan. Uh, this is great. This is the kind of stuff that I think we're going to get for the rest of the year for Nintendo. is remakes and ports and remasters and stuff like that. So if this shows up, that would be pretty awesome. This is the Switch, and every single Direct, almost without fail, some kind of free-to-play game gets shown off. Do you know these games? No, because they show them off, they probably get played for the first day, and they're very forgettable. But I think we'll see some kind of free-to-play game show up, and uh, I'll probably try it out, so will you, and then we will forget about it within 24 hours. I really do think we're going to see something Zelda-related. I, myself, would like some remakes of the Oracle games, Oracle of Ages or Oracle of Seasons. I was thinking about a remake of the Minish Cap, but the Minish Cap holds up so damn well, I don't think it needs a remake at all. I do not think we're going to see the Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD ports. I don't even think it makes sense at this point in the Switch's life to bring these over. Um, those games have been on every single Nintendo console since the GameCube. I think we should skip them on the Switch and those would be great games to get on the next Nintendo console. If we get them, it's cool, but at this point, I don't even think I'd be excited for it. I beat Wind Waker again like four or five months ago, and I'm actually replaying through Twilight Princess now, so for the people who want them, that's awesome, but me and myself, I'd rather get some different Zelda games. And now that we know the Zelda Lego set is real, they might show that off. I don't know if they would do that in a direct, but dude, that price point of $300, that is actually insane. Like, Zelda's cool, Legos are cool, $300, they're truly capitalizing off our nostalgia right now, because they know we will pay it. So the big game for the Switch that was shown off, and never made an appearance, is Metroid Prime 4. I think we could probably get a release date for Metroid Prime 4, I think this could be the big holiday game maybe, uh, and I also think we might see Metroid Prime 2 and 3 come to the Switch, but I don't think they're going to be remastered like Metroid Prime 1. That's truly a ton of work to do because they're basically rebuilding the game. That would be awesome, but I just don't see it happening. So I feel like we could get Metroid Prime 2 and 3 ported over, and then finally an actual release date for Metroid Prime 4. It just feels like the perfect big game to end the Switch with. And if that finally happens, that would be great, because I think we got a trailer for this game in 2017, maybe? Uh, so it's been a long time, Nintendo. What the hell are you guys doing over there? It wouldn't be a Nintendo Direct without something Sega or Atlas related. Maybe we could get that Persona 3 remake on the Switch. I feel like it should run fine on the Switch. It doesn't look that taxing, but if that's a Switch 2 game, that's fine. I know Midori said that Persona 6 leaked out that that's going to officially be on the Switch 2, uh, as well as all the other Persona games, so maybe Persona 3 could come to the Switch, maybe not, but I do think we'll see something Sega and Atlas related. Maybe they show us more of that Sonic game that's coming at the end of the year, but I feel like we could get some Sega and Atlas remakes. We also got a leak about a Kirby game from the Wii U coming over to the Switch. I really think this could make sense for this Direct, especially since we've seen the trademark leak out for this one. Kirby's awesome, alright? It took me a long time to admit that. Kirby in the Forgotten Land was the first Kirby game I ever played through. I went back and played a lot of older stuff, and Kirby games actually hold up incredibly well. I don't know if it's the design of the characters or like the color palette they use, but all the Kirby games from like every generation hold up incredibly well. So if this shows up, that would be great. That is another possibility, just getting some other Wii U stuff. 
off the top of your head, you might think, yeah, we've already played all these Wii U games, but that's not really the case. Only 13 million people bought a Wii U. No Wii U games ever even sold over 8 million copies. So there's a lot of Wii U games they could bring over to the Switch, and it would be people's first time ever experiencing these games, and I don't really have a problem with that, except if they are full priced at $60. I really, really want an exciting update to Nintendo Switch Online. Maybe some new DLC? Maybe GameCube? But I don't know if it makes more sense for Nintendo to release the games remaster to remake them and make a bunch of money or does it make more sense to get some Nintendo online subscriptions? And then I would also like to see the classic Pokemon games come to Nintendo Switch Online. Because why not? We have all these other Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games. Bring over the Pokemon stuff. That in itself would probably get Nintendo a bunch of online subscriptions. But if that doesn't happen, at least not yet, I think we could really, really see some Pokemon remakes. We've got to get a Pokemon game every year, right? We could get the Black and White series, X and Y series, Sun and Moon, or Gold and Silver remade like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And to be honest, those are my favorite Pokemon games on the Switch, so that would be a welcome treat. And I know this is probably the last Direct, right? And we're waiting for the Switch 2 announcement. But I would like to get at least one more special edition Nintendo Switch console. Like we actually got tons of special edition Switches and Switch OLEDs and Switch Lights. But I would like to get at least one more, and the one that I think would be amazing to get, especially with the game coming out, is a Luigi's Mansion Switch. If they made it like black, green, and purple, and then had Luigi's Mansion come out with it, I think that would make me finally get a special edition Switch. Like I just have the standard Switch OLED. I think I would finally go out and spend some money on a special edition one. Because uh, Luigi's Mansion is amazing, and the console would probably look so damn good. But ladies and gentlemen, we know this Nintendo Direct is real because Nintendo said it is. And we've got some leaks and some rumors and we have some predictions. What do you want to see from this Direct? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could. And I got to say it every time I get a chance to. Thank you so much for the support. We need 700 subscribers. And we will have 10,000 my mind is blown. Thank you so much. You guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out. <laughs>